post bait. Lots of coyote. Wolf tracks. It's a pretty good trail going up here. Probably should have some snares through there at some point. I did last year, but nothing. And I've just got some snares kind of leading in. Got a snare in there, but it looks like something walked through, but it picked. Oh. And something walked right under my snare. There's, foot. There's tracks under there. I don't know how that missed. That's good though. I'm going through there. It's about minus 20 out Celsius. Pacer in with me. I just got to keep them close now. These are my tracks. Where I got a couple coyotes. Get that double in this area. I'll try and walk the same trail each time. So, you know, I'm bringing my scent in here. If I just keep it to the same trail, there's a big debate whether you should walk on their trail or not. I do and I don't. I do a little bit of both. I haven't really noticed much difference. Come on. Again, it's good having Pacer come in here because he'll start marking. So there's a snare underneath there. Come. And these are all somewhat fresh. A couple days ago, I guess. Come, come. He's gets a scent of something and wants to run. I gotta make sure. Doesn't take off through a snare. Really, that's a good spot. There's some snares. There's kind of this trail that goes all the way through. I've got some down at the other end. But just need to get more snares and then load up. Let's see. So they've walked. Through there, missed the snare. Ah, walked right through. Oh, that could be a rabbit, actually. That's a rabbit, I think. That's a rabbit. I put that little, little leaner just to try and get him to come under the snare. And that's a rabbit that went through there. Anything in here? Snares are all still set. Let's go on over here. Okay, well, again, yeah, that's where I had a snare and relatively fresh tracks. A snare in there. Must be a rabbit, I can see tracks underneath it. Okay, so. I've never ever caught anything out of that box, but you're right, there is something white in there. So 
So you should go grab that trap just and it pull it out. It's safe now, Mason. Yeah, the trap's gone off. Just slide okay. it out of those slots. So what do I do? Grab, grab <coughs> the spring. <coughs> just the spring. Nope. See the, the metal? Yeah. yeah there you go. Slide it right out. Right out. Can I take a picture of it? Absolutely. Oh, too hard. Right, there, now I'm grabbing. Woo! Oh, man, that's a big one. That's a weasel. A big weasel. It looks like a squirrel to me. Well, we don't have white squirrels. It does kind of look like a squirrel. It's called an ermine. Okay, so this spring, this trap is set off. I don't know. It just, something looks odd. I think I know what's in there. What do you think it is? Hmm. What do you think it is? It's not too big. Weasel. I don't see any white other than the snow, so who's going to go pull that trap out? Can I do it? Go ahead. Here you go. Go ahead. And then, what's your name again? I, I'm, I'm going to guess it's a squirrel. Tegan. You can Might even be a flying squirrel. No, so just pull that spring. Nope. Just leave that attached and just pull the spring right out. Yes. Pull it. There, oh, uh -huh. a nice big squirrel. A squirrel. That's a Wee. That's a nice oh, healthy looking squirrel. Can I show you the head? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. So this trap's actually we've got lots in this trap. We've got at least two or three ermine. Now a squirrel. I don't think we've got a martin out of here yet. So you can see a spring. So it's on this big leaning tree. And I can still see. I see something. A little bit of bait, so there's squirrels. This is fresh, these are squirrel holes. Mm -hmm. There's squirrels in here. I'm surprised I haven't got a squirrel in here yet. There's nothing. Oh, there's a little white. Or it could be just a stick. No, it's just snow. There's bait in the back. Oh, okay. There's, there's I thought it snow. was a weasel. No, because that, that trap would be oh, set off. Uh uh. What? Don't walk that way. Don't touch that poking stuff. Uh, that's Devil's Club, yeah. I accidentally went punching in that, and it hurt so bad. Oh, oh. And then up here we have a lynx cubby. Oh, Come. Doggy. Come on. And I made a horrible It's a squirrel activity around here. I don't see anything sticking out, which means it's probably nothing big. Okay. Oh, what? Look what you got! You got a squirrel! Right. This is trap number four and critter number three. Yes. Tons of coyotes in here now, and they've walked under three, two snares, knocked one down. Oh man, like, there we go again. I really missed that. Look at that. Just walked around that one. I just walked around that one. Ugh. Frustrating. Can the fence it a bit better. Should have had one. One coyote by now. We picked all their trails. It's the first time they've actually kind of come through here. and inches. I need to have a snare under there too. And I have a snare right there. And it's knocked down. Damn it. This might be it. 
that's probably for a tail. means they'll be back. And also means I'm hitting the trails. I'm getting the right trails, right spots. Just poor snare setup. There is a ton of activity back here. Right up there. And again, walk into that snare. Major trail. This, I guess. Feels too low. That's gonna get a coyote. A wolf might step through that. Yeah, I think that's it. Down the last one again. So we just got a wolf out of here three days ago. And again, walking through, walking below. So that's a problem when you're it's kind of hard to target coyotes and wolves in the same snare which is sort of what i'm doing i use all wolf snares that's where we got the wolf I use all wolf snares but generally set for a wolf height some of them are a little low still coming through so that's good and again there's no way you're not walking through it's so low I can't imagine getting all four legs through there stepping All right, well, coyotes and wolves won that round. You guys want to go for a little walk? Got a Martin box back here. Is it like a coyote trap? No, it's a Martin box. Can I get it? What do we got? jumped out. No, it didn't jump out, so the trap started to come out. Yeah. Three, squirrels. Three, three squirrels and one of those white... Yeah, one weasel, one ermine. We can leave that trap in because we'll just take that okay. right out of the trap. Okay, this is uh, day two of the video. We've got some more really young elementary kids out here again. And... Uh, I didn't film the first few checks. We did get a Nerman right off the bat in our first trap. Then there's been nothing. Uh, I just have the kids out on the road. They're coming. I'm making them walkaways. And checking some snares. Again, trying to keep things out. I've got, it's a really big area in here, but I've got 
four snares just like randomly spread out. Uh, got one here, yeah, super low. Coyotes walked through it a little to the side. Might adjust this one. Get a little bit higher, that's better. And uh, through here, another snare in here. Right there. Um, and then, I walked in here. Quite often I put a snare right there. I have a bait pile in here. It's not there. I've just been throwing bait all over the place, but uh, there should be a snare right there. And the tree angled, and there's nothing. So, that snare has been hit. It's been hit because I got something. And what I got is a nice big wolf. So that is fantastic. These kids are going to freak out. So I'm actually going to bring them in here. It's not great, but I will bring them in here because this is super exciting for them. And uh, ironically, it's the same IEW that was out on my last check that we got a wolf. And so she was super pumped that we got a wolf. Let's see what her reaction is knowing that we got another one. So I'm gonna go grab the kids. I've got to do, I can't show the elementary kid's face. I'm gonna try and film this so that they don't show their faces. Okay, come on in. Check. You guys come on in. And I'll explain what's happening in here. You guys should follow this trail here. And see. Uh, go straight. Keep walking. See what you see. Guys, I can't. Brushing the snow off, it's let's have hard. a look at this thing. <laughs> Stick on it. Oh, God. I can't fit in. Stick on it. That's okay, man. Becky, I got, I got a slide. You're two for I two. Oh, I'm heavy. Right now. This is bigger than last I'll carry it. Yeah. This is so pretending to be dead. This is good. It is not pretending to be dead. What is it? Oh, no. So, so, possibly. See that wire? So that's a snare. That snare was across this trail that you're that Logan's standing on. So it walked it's right frozen. through. It's frozen. Yeah. yeah. So What's that thing? Wait, that's I straight. just marked that. That's a blaze on the tree. I marked it where? so I know that I had a snare. But right below that blaze, you can see where the snare. That's right up here. Oh. oh yeah. There's a blaze. Yeah. And then there's the snare the ear attached. Is frozen solid. And yeah. Oh, that's a big one. Thank you. What do we got? Is this a marmot? No, that's not a Martin. That's White is a weasel. Oh, it's a weasel. White oh. weasel. It's a nice one. Yeah. Well, somebody get it down. Yeah. Uh, uh, so we got to take that off the you wire. Can, uh, you can pull the trap out if you want first. But that's easier. We got something! We got something! I can't with you in the wet. Weasel! It's a, it's a, it's a weasel. I prefer a weasel at my house. Yeah. We got a weasel! Another weasel! Another weasel! It's just, it was there's just a little hook that's got on, yeah. Nice. We have one snare in here. 
And I see the snare is pulled tight. <laughs> it's pulled tight because there's a coyote in here. That's a good catch. It was the best day ever. Morgan, I called it. You did. I was like, imagine we catch a coyote. I don't want to get it. That's why you need a coyote. Yeah, it's a coyote. So if you follow Pacer, he'll turn in off of this trail to the box, I bet. He knows where all the traps are. Most people walk past. See where he stopped? And all of a sudden he walks off the trail. That's exactly where the box is. He knows where we're going. He knows where to go. Keep going. We got out. So you just look at the springs, remember? Because no. you just look at the springs. So if something if the trap goes off, it should should fall down so we'd see something hanging. But we can just tell because the springs are closed, right? Okay, it's been a full day. Wolf. Coyote, a few ermine, squirrel, checking our beaver lodge set, snare still up. Trap still set. Still some bait in there. Big, big. Big shout out to YRB, Yellowhead Road and Bridge. They clean the highways around here. And I was looking for someone to plow some of the roads we use and they, without hesitation, said yes. They would plow two forest service roads for about eight kilometers five and eight kilometers each, which has allowed us to continue on this road. So they just plowed this, we got lots of snow. And this is the difference of us getting out here and bringing students. I can get out here, I could have got out here with my snowmobile, which I will do in some areas, but this is now extended with school trapping. Lots of coyote tracks, so I got a bait station in here. So again, thanks to YRB, uh, today we got down this road, no problem, with uh, two vehicles. And again, gave these kids a very cool experience. Most of them have never seen a wolf. Definitely not up close. Um, so a wolf and a coyote on, on one check is pretty pretty awesome. And uh, let's just take a look in here. So I've got snares in here. Again, lots of coyote activity. I usually have a snare right in here, which I should put back. It's another one where there's not a lot of snares in here. I had success in the past. I lost a wolf out of here. Chewed out right in there. And since then, don't think the wolves have been back. Coyotes are, but. Oh, well, and when I say the coyotes are back, holy moly. Uh, I've only got one, two, three, four snares in here. One. Two, three, four, five snares in here, and that one, I had one in here, actually you can see some tracks in there. 
but I've always had this one set up and we connect it again. So wrapped up nicely. That would have been pretty quick. Dang. It's coyote number two for the day. Wolf, two coyotes. Ooh. Like. That's uh, crazy warm. Like within the last hour or so, a couple hours maybe. So we just built a fire for lunch and uh, I have the students up there. They wanna play man tracker, eat their lunch. I always, in this area, have them uh, hang out up there around the fire and I uh, I check the the snare location just again to keep keep the bodies out of here um, so now I'm gonna pull this out and surprise them again they're going to be crazy ecstatic so I've still got a couple more traps I can check in this area but I guess I'll take this one out walk it out awesome what a day what do we got here today? We got um, uh, two coyotes and a wolf and, a wolf and, and two weasels. And what else did we get? It's not in this picture. Uh, we squirrel. also got a squirrel. We still have a squirrel that's in the trap we have to take out on the way home. So there, there's an, uh, gives you an idea of the difference in size of a wolf. That's a big wolf and that's definitely a small coyote. This is, this is a small coyote too, but it's a bit more average. Is that one bigger than this? Yeah, than that, this? yeah. this coyote is definitely bigger. Yeah. But that's uh, this is a male wolf, and I believe both those coyotes are females, so they're going to be smaller. Yeah. But that's that's actually a really nice looking wolf, nice face yeah. to it. But I have a friend of mine that wants to make mitts out of the wolf hide, so I'll actually probably use this wolf hide because that's really nice fur up here. Like, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. That's beautiful. What a day! You guys are lucky. Yeah. That's a lot of trapping. Right? That's a lot of trapping. And also, we have a squirrel, but it's yeah. still in the trap. That's a 